Phonograph Demonstration. I do want to take a few minutes to talk about Thomas Edison's phonograph because it was his favorite invention. Thomas Edison spent 44 years here in West Orange working with the phonograph machine. 44 years. Improving upon his favorite invention and a lot of other things in between. But the very first phonograph was introduced in Menlo Park. It was 20 miles south of here. It was a 10 foil phonograph. The original machine is on the third floor behind the plexiglass. But a year after Edison invented that model, this Bergman was introduced. And there was an improvement on it. Um, tin foil, because the tin foil was the recording mechanism. The circuit that they recorded on. This is the record. Now I'm going to attempt to recreate Edison's first recordings on the tin foil. You can pass this around if you like. See what the record looked like. These records that I'm passing around were recorded on last week. If you take a close look at them, you'll see bumps in between the lines, little dots. And that's the vibration from the sound that was recorded on it. Okay. Now, there's a record on here from last week. I'm going to take that off and add a new piece of tin. So, once this gets to the last person, you'll see why you can't reuse this. The record. You can never play it back once you take it off. But um, take a close look. The, the louder you shout into the tinfoil, the deeper the little dots are or the grooves are on the tinfoil. So you can see that on the one that I'm passing around. Edison didn't have this, but this is the oil that we use today. <laughs> <laughs> going to add a little oil to the tin foil, press it down, get it nice and smooth so that there's no defects when I start to record. The machine wasn't market markable, marketable. Um, it's very hard to operate. I'm no professional. But, um, so it didn't sell right away. Act, it was only good for demonstrating how sound could be recorded. <coughs> this is a recreation of the Bergman. And the person that recreated, that built this for us, he also gave us this haagen popsicle, icicle stick <laughs> to use. And I use this every day. And he put Edison's signature on the tip of it. <laughs> Does anyone know what Edison's first words were recorded? Mary, Mary had a little lamb. lamb. Mary had a little lamb. All right. Did he sing it or talk it? Yeah. He talk it. He talk it. We're going to hold it in place with this piece of rubber. And then smooth the record onto the tin foil phonograph or the mandrel, which is what this is called. <laughs> Going to rewind it to get to the beginning of the tin foil. Make sure that it's smooth. How many minutes do you Um, oh, maybe two minutes. It's pretty wide. Taking a volunteer. Anyone want to volunteer to recite Mary Had a Little Lamb? All right, come on. <laughs> Should I sing her a couple? Well, you sing it. I sing it. Okay. You, you, the way Edison recorded it to get a great recording, he shouted into the thing like this Mary Had a Little Lamb! So that's how loud you have to be. So if you can sing that loud, you can, you can attempt to sing it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try a different thing. We'll try singing it at first and then shouting. I'll, say, I'll try to say it like Edison would say. Well, what Edison do? Alright, so right now I'm just placing the needle onto the tin foil. This is a diaphragm. On the other side of the diaphragm, there's a piece of film. It looks like a piece of uh, thin plastic. A needle attached to the center. As, what's your name? Jonathan. As Jonathan shouts into the diaphragm, that piece of film is going to vibrate, and the needle is going to vibrate onto the tinfoil as well. 